the poop. Oh, no. Oh, you could do that. Gross. Ew. Hello. Hey, Bill. Dutch. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Now, where have I heard that before? All right, Charles. Boy. Boy. Uh, Red Pillarmer, stop spamming. Thank you. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh. Hold on. There's no marker, so let's mark it ourselves. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. Last failure truck. <laughs> Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. It goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters. I ain't so sure. Thanks Maybe for the, the gift, son. Baronism. Too big. Yeah, so they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. I think that must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. We're not really gonna settle up in a creek, are hey, we? Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. It's so dark I can't see, but I'll take your word on it. Get me some birds. I don't think I have one of these. Ah, it's a turkey vulture.
All right, let's uh, put this on my cart over here. Turkey vulture. He's been shot. Let's be careful, Arthur. Hold on, I gotta get my birds. I think I saw a camp up ahead. Let's go take a look. All right. Alright, last one's right over here. You see there? Tents and a wagon. Looks deserted. Okay, well, let's have a look around and make sure. This person is dead and shot. Why are they just chilling here? Some bitters. How the folk? That needs to be something besides a shotgun. Let's just go pistol normal. Howdy there. What's going on? Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. I'm being careful. I don't like this. The fire's going, but no one's here. Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that. One second. Is my my torch? Oh, there we go. I don't like this. Ah. It's okay. It's okay. Come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. Looks like Hansel and Gretel. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? It's German? No. Now go on, get out of here. Go, we need the land, go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men, last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. Uh, how in the world there. did you pick up where nice. they are? Come on, I don't see nothing. Poof marks this way. I'm gonna trust you on this one. I don't see on shit. You? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. 
We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. You think this is the right way? Give me a second. I see a track Looks there. Like they cut off down the trail to the left. You're right. Okay, come on. See, I smart. So what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <coughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then if you asked me. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Wait. There's multiple trails. Continues along the shore here. So you were just talking about something? Bastards told me they killed Mac. They said it right in front of Jack. Ah. Uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah. But he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. You know, except we're all criminals, thieves, and killers, but you know. John at least there's said he was someone. Going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. <laughs> If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. Year. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. Ah, uh, they continue on that trail ahead of us. Good eyes, Arthur. Let's keep on them. Yeah, I'm now good at this shit. I know how to track. He did? And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. I think they see him ahead of us. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Let me unmark. Look. They probably came this way and stole someone else. But I do not trust this one bit. Easy. Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. It is. Maybe. There he is. Wait a minute. Why is that guy there? Do you think I could steal Quick. first, buddy? Cut him free. Let's get out of here. Are you gonna cut the ropes or me? I got it. Hold on. Hello, sir. Uh oh. Three coming right at us. What the hell do you think you're doing? What are we doing? Hello. This ain't even our goddamn fight. Get rid of these bastards. That German's on the way. That all of them? Yep. More coming. Schneiden Sie das Seil durch, bitte! 
All right, what's up, buddy? Let's get him back to his family. It's okay. I'm getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there, sir. Ah, it's Go. me, Hans. I know Go how to speak Dutch. our language, get too. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Ah, uh, we need to play the video games. Ah, uh, I love your language so much. Oh, you have beautiful boots. All right, let me uh, loot all the bunnies real fast. By the way, I don't know if you've seen this yet, but this is amazing just that you can do this at all. Yep, you can blow people's heads off. I uh, know, isn't that badass? I found that out by accident. I don't know, let's try limbs too. Oh my god, you can blow up for limbs too. Wow. That's awesome. That means you can blow people's legs off. And then they like fall to the ground and hobble. Oh, is there a chest over here? Hold on. Someone said there was a chest. I don't see a chest anywhere. I don't think this one... Unless this can be opened. Well, we can try. Let's see. New subscriber! Nope. There's nothing here. Where are the shot, though? Chests usually have a lot of stuff in them. Like even Twitch Prime tokens. Are you my horse? You're not my horse. Yes, you are. That is Carl. You look different. All right, come on. All right, come on. I'll take you back to your family. Come on, get in, boy. I I don't know what you just said, but yeah. It's hard for me to recognize my horse because they all look the same. Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellas? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? That's a very good question. Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. That is true. Yep. That's me. God, the soundtrack's 10 out of 10. So good. There they are. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz. New subscriber. Oh, thanks for subbing Breezy Panda. Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wär's so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge. Meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. das ist wahr. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. 
Einen Moment. Uh, ähm, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Give me the rest of that shit. Guess it was a pleasure. That's a brick of gold. That shit's worth a lot of money. You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. That's a beautiful lake. Chapter 3, Clemens Point. Almost looks like print, though. All the fishing we can do. Oh, God. Why is that so loud? Why are the achievements so fucking loud? The regular ones are fine, but the rare ones are like. Let me see if I if there's a volume setting. Xbox what X achievement volume. Good morning, Uncle Arthur. And I just wonder if it's like a volume thing. See an option for that. It was there where Achievements, I don't see volume. I just want volume on it. Turn it down. No, there's no like volume setting. No, I like the mod, I just don't want them to be so blurringly loud, is all. Display sounds volume is for the entire system, not just. There's no like, no like 
Turn the volume of the sound down. There's just only one volume. Ear bleeding. Do you think... Do you worry... It's a much bigger camp than last one. Do you worry that maybe we've lost our way? <gasps> what? How do you mean? <sighs> Ignore that. I won't pretend ignorance. I know just what you mean. But I don't know. Things seem bad. The world is changing, and... I'm not making much sense, am I? <laughs> no. But somehow, you've summarized how I feel. It, it seems awful. And then, it seems the same as always. Wake up! It, it seems like Uncle. there's just no other Get way. I, I just, What's going on? We got out of worse situations. I've forgotten what it was now. <laughs> Damn it, Arthur. <laughs> Let me sleep. Don't take Use a slug of whiskey in this. Maybe after lunch, hey? Ooh. Okay, some coffee? Just like every other creature on this rock. Oh, give me some coffee, yeah. Oh, give me a cup of joe in the morning. That's some good shit right there. You know how good that probably feels in the morning? Okay, my beard's a little too long. I gotta trim it down. Ladies. So, what do you think of the place? Seems fine, for now. Yeah. Hold on, I'm sipping. Well, don't let me bother you. Sure. Is there a throw drink in face option? You all right? Yeah, I like this spot. It's a shame we never robbed that bank in Valentine, though. Yeah, I guess it is. Oh man, that's a good coffee. What is this, Madrinas? You know what, ladies? I hear that you can save 40% off this coffee just by typing the code word Dan after clicking link below the channel for Madrinas Coffee. 40% off. That is worth it. Morning, Arthur. Morning, ma'am. You need, you need like a bath badly. Morning. I need my shaving kit, please. We need a big old trim. New subscriber. Oh my god. A little scruff. <laughs> now that feels bad. All right, it's good to shave it down all the way. Made hair, you know. Ah, there we go. I was just seeing how the chops look, but it looks like, yeah. Do you have to have the horse slob over my shaving water? Like, really? Like, seriously? I mean, come on. We're buying a damn love bug, frog him. I wonder if I'll ever what? not smell of campfire again. Nope. I think it's in our skin now. Morning, Arthur. Morning. Sup, Dutch? How you doing, old friend? <laughs> uh, 
home. It's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. A I crick? reckon it's full of thick. I like a crick. Yeah, Judge seems like he's slowly becoming less smart and suave over time. Starting to lose it a bit. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long old <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble bursting. Hold on, I'm gonna go take off my jacket. It's a little warm over here. I'm gonna go remove my jacket. I'm apparently locked out of my my outfit, so it's fine. I'm not doing anything. Go. I'm going to the creek. Don't worry. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was us. A curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. But not even a couple butts. <gasps> like Mook house. Play it cool. Uh -oh. Hello, gentlemen. 
Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scott? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps Let's we go. Can the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. Get him. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. This Come mission on, sounds hurry. familiar. All right. Come on. We're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Is his initial Master, CJ? Come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Okay, we. Like the son of a bitch is gonna make me. We gotta go. Can't you shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said friend. All they do is follow the damn train. Goddamn power tight behind that man. <laughs> <laughs> Leave them. Stay with that train. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Get wrecked. Get to the side of the train. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Now he's throwing Whee! bottles. The low down cop bastards. They didn't do nothing. Uh oh, uh oh, no, 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 there is no need for that foul language, sir. Woohoo! Get the hell away from me! My hat! Oh, now you're fucked up, boy! Come here, boy! You and me now, pal. Made me lose my damn hat. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. How do I disarm? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We good. Pick up the Anderson boy.
Bring him out here. Deputy? It sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Where is Move your Anders horse? Onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. My horse. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. Why not your what horse about though? The others? Oh, we'll round him up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. <laughs> yeah, not quite. Are you quite. familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. All right, I'm following you, buddy. Asking Nazi's weapon to cause trouble in roads. Well, we'll see how long that lasts. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Sure, I got this. I got this. Come on, Anders. Sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a cell. Bring him in so we can show this Sheriff is a nice Gray. looking town. I like hey, this fellas. one. It's more dry, wildernessy. Mr. Gray, we got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Now, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? <gasps> Thank you enough. Not where Penelope. Have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Greys, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out, rebel gold, marrying cousins, and not marrying Dorothy. <gasps> Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here. And it seems like 
We can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's no, just you don't. talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. I said good day, sir. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? Ah. Let's go fishing. Arthur? Sure, why not? Let's go fishing. Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking God, about? God, it makes my throat dry just looking at this. Kinda like oh, this can place. you imagine your eyes and throat okay. in this kind of Let's dust? Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Uh, what are we doing right now? Why are we just standing here? Oh, our horses are magically right, coming gentlemen. to us. Okay. Follow me. Time to go, boy. Well. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Yep, too. you can see him right there. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely. How far is this creek? They the definitely are very anatomically still. correct. And it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his hey. information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Where is this spot, Hosea? Timbuktu? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? I keep Arthur hearing Mr. West Dickens in that guy's voice. Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. Just the Xbox I One X. Even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us. Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. <laughs> ah! Ah, you bitch. So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Craig? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. A little hiding in plain sight. I feel like we're always hiding in plain sight. But sometimes more smartly than others. Uh, your hat's always on your horse if you lose it. So I just popped it back on when I got this on my horse. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Man, we have traveled a long ass way for this crick.
I saw some boats around last time. They need a crick? This is a lake. They said crook. Yes, over there on the shore. Wait, do people just leave their boats lying around? I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. What if someone steals it? What if a bear comes back and goes out in the lake and it's fishing? Can we take the blue one? It's pretty. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Did you not hear okay. me? Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. Now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. What about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Head towards the middle of the lake. Get us a bit deeper. Keep going. Sorry, using the bathroom and grabbing a drink. Thought that was a cutscene. Whoops. How far offshore are we? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Nice fresh can of Madrinas. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. Really? We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. A lake lure? Ooh. What's wrong with good old worms? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just basking to be eaten. Got a nibble there, Arthur? Yeah. Nice, yep. you hooked yep. it. Yep. Yep. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it. Something's nibbling. Got it. Come got on. Ya. Come on, girl. Come got on, away. girl. Gotcha. Biggest fish ever. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Come on. Nope, nope, nope. Stop it. Hey. You're going to be in my frying pan tonight. Hey. Look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fellow told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Four pounds, six ounces. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. 
<laughs> I would like to see that. All right, let's see. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, come on, come on. and buy some fish. Come on. Just gotta reel him in now, Arthur. Get him in, get him in. I got a bite. There we go. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable Snipes? bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and ah. carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a the last one was four six. This say, one's Wesley, four pounds. That was nice of you. And he replies, "Well, I'll keep it." Felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for thirty years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God, I might swim to shore. Oh, that's good. That's good. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, it's oh, the spirit, oh. though. Never lost the puppy Come on. in him. Right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No How much? Trying to get back that way Four three. Yeah. Pinkertons had patrols out all over it's tall fine. trees and great plains. We saw when we went back to Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? Could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. This looks like a big one flopping around right here. Let me try to... Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine oh, 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 years oh, oh, later. Oh, 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 Last oh, oh, oh. I knew, she was still come outside on, come Philadelphia. On, come on. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always big one. see eye to eye. Biggest fish ever. A it's a... Obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Come on. I like this fishing, it's relaxing. I like that I'm fishing with the characters bite. and we're learning about it. Well, 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 well. Tire out, come on, tire out, boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm. I like to fish IRL. I like to fry fish in oil that and feels like a bite. breading. Got one. Well done. That one seems a little bigger than the other ones. And it's not. Make sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. Oh, that's a big one there, Hoss. Big old fish.
He's keeping it too. 